Why is talking to women so goddamn hard? I mean, seriously, you know, like, 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 like talking to women has gotten so hard that some people actually have been able to build lucrative businesses off of teaching guys how to fucking engage with the opposite sex. Like, it's, it's gotten to that point. It's really gotten to that point where you can literally build a business off of teaching guys how to talk to people that have fucking holes in between their legs. Like, it, it's crazy. It's freaking crazy. So anyway, so what got me thinking about this topic was, um, I was cruising on YouTube, and, uh, there was this ad, right? This long... 45 minute ad, you, you know those kinds of ads, right? You know, the ads where some guy will spend 20 to 40 minutes talking about his life story as if we give a fuck, and he will say over and over again, I have the secret to whatever you want. You know, like, 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 some guys will even talk about how they have, like, the secret to getting superpowers and the secret of getting lots and lots of sex and you know, all that jazz, you know, all that bullshit. So anyway, I sat through the whole 45-minute presentation, and like always, it was, a, it was a fucking ad, so it was trying to get me to buy the product. And the product was the, uh, the girlfriend <laughs> activation system. So, you know, I, I'm poor, and I don't have money to throw around on a system that I have not seen scientifically proven to work. So, uh, I said to fuck with buying that. I think it ended up all being like $60 or, I don't know, I don't really fucking care. Anyway, but the point that I'm making is that I saw this ad, and ironically, the ad, well, I guess it's not really ironic, but the ad was on this video, which was called The 10 Biggest Mistakes. Men, you know, the 10 biggest mistakes that men do when talking to women. And then I sat here, I really started thinking about something. First of all, why is it so difficult to talk to the opposite sex? I mean, really, like, wh why is that so freaking hard? And what I mean is, I don't necessarily mean, like, just straight up walking up to them and talking to them. Like, no, I, I kind of figured out how to do all that. But I mean, like, why in the hell are there so many rules and different techniques to engaging with women? Why can't you just fucking talk to them? Why can't you just go up and say, hey... How are you doing today? Not like in a creepy voice, but just saying, hey, how are you? You know, why? I mean, again, like it's gotten to that point where there are literally booming businesses teaching men how to talk to women, which is, I guess, is just a fucking, it should just be like an inherent social skill that you pick up, you know, going through life, but I guess not. Now, I guess, of course, there's lots of reasons as to why it's got to this point. So that's what today's video is about. We're just going to chat about this. Now, the question, why is it so hard to talk to women, can be interpreted into one of three ways. So, we're going to focus on the first way right now, okay? When some people ask, why is it so hard to talk to women, they could be saying, why is it so hard to actually physically get up and engage them, or like start a conversation with a woman? And I actually have the answer to that question, okay? So, I'm going to help you guys out today. If you're, if you're like a teenager, if you're, you're a teenage boy, and you want to talk to women, I got you, you know? I have, I have the real... I have a real trick, right? It's not even a trick. It's just kind of, it's really, it's a mental thing. It's going to fucking help you out. And no, you're not going to have to like spend money on it. You're getting this shit for fucking free. Okay. So usually when people think about why it's so hard to go up and talk to women, the real short, simple answer is because we put expectations on attractive women. Okay. When we see an attractive woman, we usually, sometimes, especially when you're young and you're going through puberty, you put like a lot of pressure on yourself because you think so highly of this woman, right? You really, really think that this woman is like an angel sent from heaven above, you know, presented, you know, just walking around on earth for all mortals to gaze upon her beauty, you know? You really like start to like think that this woman is, is worth a lot just because she looks really fucking good and also you got a whole bunch of hormones and your brain is firing off and all that jazz. You see, in a sense, young men kind of deify really, really pretty and attractive girls. I mean, not deify them in the sense of like, you know, like, Semiramis, you know, the the ancient queen of Babylon. No, 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 no. But I mean, like, deify them in the sense that we expect a lot out of them. We expect them to be, you know, I mean, sometimes some people will legitimately say, Oh man, she's out of my league. We expect them to be too good for us. And so a lot of pressure gets placed on our shoulders when it comes to, you know, talking and engaging with women, you know, so the, the, the tip I'm telling about to tell you guys is actually one really, really simple solution to this whole problem here. And the easiest way, you know, to go up and talk to a woman is to remember this thing right here is that she's only 
human, right? When you take away all of the deification of women, you know, the, 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 the pedestal that we place women on, and when we start thinking of women as not higher than us, but as, you know, equals to us, then we start to really realize that, hey, look, you know, it's, it's, it's as easy as one, two, fucking three. It's, it's not really all that hard, you know, you just, when you realize that she's a, a human and she wants to get attention just as much as you want to get attention. And that's what really helped me out when I wanted to go talk to girls, is I just remembered, I mean, she's, I mean, granted, I mean, she might be beautiful, but that doesn't necessarily mean that she's a fantastic individual, right? When I remove away the expectation that this is a great person due to the fact that she looks good, it takes the weight off my shoulders, you know? And so, uh, yeah. Let me give you guys an example of what I'm talking about with this whole deification of women thing. So, uh, there's this model named uh, Laura Dore. She's right here on the screen, right? Now, when you first look at this woman, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, this, is, this woman is beautiful. I mean, those fucking hips. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, those fucking hips. Look at that. Oh my, she's so sexy. And you really start to, like, place, like, a, like a huge high value. And you think that she's out of your league and everything. But if you've listened to this woman talk in any of her interviews, you're going to realize that, one, she's not only socially awkward, but that bitch is crazy. Like, like I read some interviews that she's talking about, and I'm like, God damn, you are beautiful, but fuck all, you are insane. Like, she even has this video on, like, World Star Hip Hop where, like, she literally, like, lures a man back to her house, and then she fucking kills him because, because, I don't, I don't know, just because fuck him, that's why she killed him. See, here's the thing. We look at her and we see she's beautiful, but underneath all of that beauty, she's actually really, really fucking insane. I'm not saying I still wouldn't, you know, you know, do stuff with her, but I mean, it's just saying, I mean, her physical looks only go as far as that. When we remove the expectation that someone being beautiful means they're a great person, and we begin to really understand that she's just a human being, talking to girls that you have a crush on or that you find attractive becomes really easy and almost mundane. Now, with that being said, I think it's time we move on to the second and third way that that question can be interpreted. Alright, and we're going to answer that, si the, the second and the third part, simultaneously. Okay, and that is, why is it so hard to hold a conversation with a woman? And not only that, but why is it so hard to get the woman to like you back? You know what I'm saying? Why is it so difficult to hold the conversation itself and, you know, to just, you know, Talk to women and, like, form relationships with them, okay? So let's answer that question, because the answer to that question is going to be really fucking interesting, and I think you guys are going to enjoy listening to the sound of my voice. So now, here's the thing, okay? There are so many wrong ways to talk to women, and very few right ways to do it. Again, you will find a multitude of different types of videos, some like an hour in length talking about the mistakes that men make when they go up and talk to women. Now, honestly, you would really think that talking to another human being would be quite simple, really easy, but it's not. And I think part of what it has to do is this new like social age that we have, you know, where we spend so much of our times texting each other, you know, that we don't ever really spend a lot of time actually interacting and learning different social cues. And that also includes, you know, like body language and picking up different types of tones and, you know, uh, inflections in people's voices. You spend so much time reading a fucking text message, you're never going to really gain the skills or the auditory ability to pick up on different types of tones and meanings behind those and whatnot. And see, this is actually very, 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 very important when it comes to women. And I think all ladies and all men really need to hear this next part that goes on. So like I said, there are many wrong things to do when it comes to talking to women in very few right ways when it goes to talking to women. And in this video, I am not going to spend any time talking about all of the wrong ways to talk to women because in all honesty, some of the wrong ways are really, really fucking mundane and almost piss damn stupid. But we're going to get into that very briefly in just a second here, okay? So, let me, let me, let me pull up a metaphor, right, to help you guys really understand, like, the state that our society is in right now, okay? Talking to women, talking to strangers that you don't know is like, it's like the Silver Surfer NES game. Okay, like, if you've ever seen that fucking game, you can understand that this game is on a level of difficulty that is ridiculous. Like, if you touch the walls, you die. 
If you get hit by an enemy monster, you die. If you get hit by the bullet, you die. If you fall off screen, you die. You die. There's so many different ways to die. Alright, and very few ways to win. There's actually, there's only one way to fucking win, and that is to not get touched by anything throughout the entire time that you're playing the game. That, that game is prophetic, because it perfectly describes how talking to women in our society is right now. For example, I'm going to use myself as an example. I remember one time, okay, way back when, not even way back when, but about a year ago, okay, there's just one girl that I saw a couple of times, you know? Like, I saw her a couple of times, we made eye contact here and there. So I'm going to try to recall the conversation I had with her as best as I could, okay? So let's get into that. So I remember I saw her, and she would eat by herself, like, almost all the time when she was in the cafeteria. So one day, it was me and my, my two friends, and uh, we sat at the table right next to hers, so I decided to engage this woman in conversation because I thought she was attractive and I figured, you know, let's let's do this, right? So I said, um, hey, have I seen you uh, around here before? Uh, she's like, uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't think so. I was like, yeah, you know, I just, you know, I keep seeing you around here and I'm like, hey, who's this beautiful woman that I keep seeing? And so she's like, oh, oh okay. And I was like, okay, so uh, what's your name? And she's like, uh, Lori. I said, oh, okay, that's a, that's a cool name, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Zeus. She said, oh, okay, that, that's cool, all right. So I say, uh, hey, Laura, you're not, like, lonely over there, are you? And she's like, uh, no, actually, I have to uh, go somewhere. Oh, I was like, oh, where are you going? She's like, oh, a soccer game. I said, oh, okay, that's cool, right? And that was the end of the conversation, okay? Now, here's the thing. I had a buddy of mine who knew Lori kind of well, not really well, but he at least he knew her better than I did. And he went up and he talked to her, and he showed me, you know, her, she, she showed her my Facebook. And she said to him, hey, you know, I did meet that guy, but you know, that guy, he was a little, uh, he was a little, I don't know, he kind of creeped me out a little bit, you know, I'd rather he just kind of stay away from me. And I was like, what in the actual fuck? I really couldn't believe that the simplest, most mundane conversation led to that. You see, here's the thing when it comes to women, and part of this is definitely the feminist's fault. But the thing with women is that they have a ridiculous level of of expectations when it comes to men. Women want you to say all the right things all at the right time. Okay, and that includes in bar situations and that includes, you know, in social interactions when you're trying to date them and trying to get to know them. They have expectations that you be fucking perfect. And if you say or do the wrong thing, it's over. Right? Now, here's the thing about saying and doing the wrong thing. They could be the simplest, most slightest thing. If you say that you like to play video games a lot, some women are just going to be like, oh, well, he's not going to pay attention to me, so fuck that shit. All right? I remember I was on this one MGTOW channel where this one woman actually had a fucking checklist of all of the risk factors, and she went on like 30, like 30 first dates, and she just kept on saying she didn't want to date these guys because of some of the most simplest, most mundane bullshit ever. You see, the problem with talking to women nowadays is that, one, they are fucking paranoid due to the feminist movement and two they have the most grandiose highest expectations of men okay you think nash greer telling you to shave your armpit hair was terrible haha <laughs> i mean some women legitimately honestly expect you to know what is wrong with them without them ever telling you that there's a problem and then will get upset at you for not knowing that there's a problem and not fixing it. Like, that is that, that is one of, one of the legitimate expect. I have had women tell me with a straight face that they honestly expect that from men. It's fucking crazy. That's, that's, that's the state that we're in right now, okay? Now, see, here's the thing, all right? This is, this is what it is, okay? You know, the reason why women have these ridiculous expectations is because of two things and they run parallel with each other and they're told to women simultaneously one they're told that they're princesses and two they are told that they are perfect just the way they are and a man should accept you for being that way here's the thing when you call somebody a princess or when you tell somebody that they deserve the absolute best for simply being who they are you are fueling narcissism and arrogance the way gasoline fuels a car.
okay all right that is the reason why so many young ladies are raised being told continuously that they're queens and they're princesses and that you know looks don't matter and that you know you being beauty you know, you're beautiful no matter how you look or they're they're told that you deserve a man that will treat you well you know and you deserve all these things just for being a woman now here's the thing about all of that if they play their cards right a woman can get all of those things for simply being an attractive woman hell some women can get it for just having fucking vaginas okay the thing about telling women that is that it's it's true that's the first thing it is true that they can get that the second thing about telling women that is that they you know become incredibly fucking arrogant especially if they're really really pretty and beautiful but simultaneously being as arrogant as they are you know you, you still have to deal with women that have low self-esteem now of course you can make the argument that clinical narcissists are actually don't really think very highly of themselves and they really want other people to think that and that is true but we're not going to talk about clinical narcissists today in this uh, video we are going to talk about the two camps of women the two camps that i pretty much have dealt with throughout the course of my life and that is really really arrogant women that are stuck up their own asses and socially awkward women now in my experience socially awkward girls were ridiculously easy to talk to okay not only are they easy to talk to but i mean they're also the most interesting women that i've ever encountered now before i get into that let's talk about you know these really stuck up women because i've chatted with a bunch of them i have talked to women that walk around like their shit don't fucking stink women that just think they are so much better than this 511 nappy headed nigga recording his voice Women who just didn't even think I was worth their fucking time. And whether some of them explicitly expressed that, very rarely did any of them ever do that, it was always carried within the air and the words that they used in the way they fucking talked to me. It was also due to the fact that they wouldn't let me have their phone number because no reason. Maybe it was a reason, you know. And like I said, now here's the thing, here's the thing. You know, uh, that, that ladies, if you're listening to this video, um, listen to the next section i'm going to say very very well um men are not perfect and men uh don't know how to interact with women anymore henceforth the way i opened up this fucking video by saying that it's a lucrative business to teach men that and because of that you're going to meet men who are not going to say the right thing what's important is that you are able to look past the fact that he is not perfect and you look past the fact that you know he doesn't say the right things at the right fucking time and understand that he's a fucking human being and that there is no way in hell he is going to be able to do that not if he's a normal regular person ladies get out of your own fucking asses stop expecting the goddamn world from men when you don't even bring a fucking pot to piss in, okay? You don't even bring in pots so we can piss in anymore, okay? Alright, so with that being said, I, I mean, really, like, pay attention to that, okay? Because here's the thing. A lot of women do get taught with a lot of, like, really scared guys or really socially awkward guys. I mean, they exist. Socially awkward people exist everywhere, okay? And they will try to talk to women. Of course they will because they want to date women. And, I mean, if you have the courage to go talk to a woman, you should be rewarded at least at the fucking bare minimum a goddamn conversation. But, no, some women, they will either straight up ignore you or not talk to you. For example, again... There's this one girl, and I remember, her name was Ebian Yamaguchi, right? And I sat next to her on the bus, right? And I didn't really expect much of anything from her, but I mean, we were on the bus, so I figured I may as well talk to her, I'm sitting next to her. And I was literally talking to her, saying, hey, how are you doing? And she straight up fucking ignored me, right? Real nigga shit ignored me, okay? Like, I'm not talking about, you know, like, we walked by each other, you know, she, look, I mean, just straight, I said, hey, how are, hey, Evian, how are you? Said her name, everything, looked out the window, looked straight ahead, straight up fucking ignored me. This is real nigga shit. This actually fucking happened to me, alright? Okay, that that is the level of arrogance some of these women have. Now, the funny thing about this girl is I think she ended up getting pregnant anyway, so it's a fantastic thing she didn't say shit to me. I mean, it all worked out pretty well for me in the end, but the point is, there are some women who will legitimately not even talk to some guys, or will straight offhand reject guys, for no fucking reason or because they think that they're too good for them and of course because women are hypergamous and women try to get the best they can fucking get 
or they will use men as stepping stones to get there. Now, of course, as I have said, it is not all women who do that. Do not come to my channel and say, oh, no, I, I understand that. You want to know how I know what? You want to know how I know this? I'm going to tell you now. Socially awkward women. Guys, socially awkward girls may not always be the most attractive women. Sometimes they are, but not always. But they are the fucking safest bet when you at least want to have a conversation and get the second base with them. In my experience, talking to socially awkward women is really easy. Like my ex-girlfriend, okay? My ex-girlfriend and all the girls I have talked to, and I've talked to upwards of like 50 different women throughout the four years in high school. All of them that I have chatted with, okay? She was... The easiest. And then second to her was this girl named Danielle, who was also pretty kind of awkward and really shy, but nice. I liked Danielle. Danielle was cool. Anyway, the point, I'm going back on the story. My ex-girlfriend was one of the easiest people, or the easiest girls I've ever talked to. And while she was socially awkward, well, she was more so obnoxious than she was socially awkward. But, um, you know, she didn't really have very good uh, social skills. You know, I remember one time I was having a conversation with her and she kind of told me that, um, you know, she didn't really like approaching guys because she felt that she might end up saying the wrong thing to them. So she guess she felt the same pressure men felt, except with men, you know, it's kind of different because my ex-girlfriend used to say some outlandish, off-the-wall shit to me and I just kind of would, like, nod. All right, I'll give you an example. I remember one time I was talking to her, right, and this actually happened, and she said, you know, sometimes whenever I get pissed off at some people, I will, like, create them in my Sims game, and then I will let them die and, like, starve to death. And I was like, holy fucking shit. This girl is crazy. But yeah, you know, the thing is, you know, I mean, for women, the pressure's off. I mean, there's, there's, when men, I think men, by and large, especially socially awkward men, are able to kind of look past themselves and say, hey, look, listen, this is a, this is a fucking person, a human being, you know, she's not going to be perfect, and kind of chat with them. The only men that really expect the utmost perfection from women is men who are only trying to fuck them. And then, that's where you move on to the pickup artist community. Now, I have seen women, usually on Tumblr, sometimes in the comment section of YouTube, actually, a con man, or Connor Manning actually made a video, directly about this dumb subject matter that will complain about the fact that men are selling tips on how to talk to and pick up women you know and as I have said before that you can't really get upset with the techniques the pickup artists are using because they work on women so now I'm going to explain exactly why they work on women and hopefully this is gonna help out everybody at least I hope so so, listen, you guys remember that analogy that I used just a second ago, right? About the whole Silver Server thing? You want to know how you greet through that game? You see, the truth of the matter is that you play the game so freaking much that eventually you begin to understand and pick up the patterns. And then you'll be able to move along and, you know, dodge all the bullets, shoot down all the bad guys because you know exactly what's going to happen and exactly what's going to come next. Now, of course, you will hear buy and large about how women are different and how women are you know you can't use a set pattern to get through any women except here's the thing and i know this is going to hurt some feelings but this is just going to help everybody out in the long run the greatest irony of women is that as much as they all like to claim that they're special the truth of the matter is they are for the most part exactly the fucking same i know shocker for all of that you hear about women being special, the truth of the matter is, women, in general, are all the same. At least American women are. They all look different. They might talk different. But when it all comes down to their desires, and when it all comes down to sometimes even their actions and the thing that they do, they are actually all the same. Again, that's the greatest irony when it comes to women here in America. And because of that, because women are looking for men to say all the right things in these social interactions, all the pickup artists have to do is say all the right things. This opens the door up for manipulation. This is why those techniques work, because women are looking for this. Now, of course, you can't get upset with the pickup artists, because remember, if you look at some of the game spheres, and if you look at how these pickup artists talk about going about women, you will see that it is a numbers game, and that they will talk to a lot of women and learn to pick up on these different signs. They're doing exactly 
what I just said in the Silver Surfer NES game. You play the game so much, you pick up and learn and understand the patterns. You see, ladies, when you begin to start to accept that men aren't perfect and that you're going to actually have to work and put effort into men the same way men work and put effort into you, this whole pickup artist community thing will evaporate because now all of those skills that they picked up in learning the pattern of women goes out of the water because now women are going to be able to be more forgiving of men who are a little awkward or men who may not say the right thing at the right time because then they'll understand that just like themselves men are just human beings and they don't know how to talk to women now of course I didn't really address the whole you know feminists making women all paranoid thing and because I really kind of discussed that in general on my channel you know so uh, I think this is actually a really good place to stop about this if you guys would like for me to make more videos like this and continue this discussion here by all means you know comment in that comment box below but uh with that being said I certainly hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did man go ahead and click that like button go ahead and click that subscribe button comment in the comment box below and as always have a great day I'll see you cool cats soon Adios.